Nissan is offering several color customization options for its 2018 Nissan Kicks model, which is derived from the innovative Kicks concept car that was designed at the company's studio in Rio de Janeiro. Key options are offered through the Kicks Color Studio, a collaboration between the Nissan Color Studio and the Rio de Janeiro Design Studio. Commenting on the initiative, Mike Souter, Vice President, After Sales, Nissan North America, Inc. said that the Kicks is positioned as an affordable compact crossover and is meant for customers for whom the main concerns are advanced safety features, style, personal technology and smart functionality. Through the Kicks Color Studio, they are provided with an affordable way to further personalize their very own Kicks. They can opt for just a few or the complete package of factory-backed Color Studio accessories. The Kicks Color Studio offers a range of 12 carefully curated accessories which are available in 5 different colors thus elevating personalization to an entirely different dimension, especially for a vehicle in this category. These accessories can be mixed and matched to get numerous combinations which go well with Kicks range of 7 exterior colors and 5 two-tone combinations. The 7 available exterior colors for the Kicks include Brilliant Silver, Gun Metallic, Super Black, Cayenne Red, Fresh Powder, Deep Blue Pearl Aspen Watt is a premium color that can be added to this list. The five available two-tone paint combinations are include Super Black Aspen White, Monarch Orange Gun Metallic, Super Black Monarch Orange, Super Black Cayenne Red and Fresh Powder Deep Blue Pearl. Each of the Kicks Color Studio accessories is available in Orange, Black, White, Blue and Red. Customers can visit a special configuration page on the website, www.nissanusa.com to check out all the colors and combinations of accessories which are available for the kicks and choose the combination that suits them best. Subaru gets back in the three-row SUV game with the all-new 2019 Ascent Family Hauler. Subaru designed this new large SUV for North American families and it's built in the U.S. plant in Lafayette, Indiana. Subaru of America, with the help of their dealers, listened to what buyers wanted and produced the largest vehicle they've ever built. Subaru went big with the Ascent, giving it standard seating for eight passengers, or seven with optional second-row captain's chairs. The new Ascent comes with nearly 32 inches of third-row legroom, 86.5 cubic feet of maximum cargo space, and 19 Cuban pesos holders for families with thirsty kids. Ascent gets all-wheel drive, and more luxury and standard safety features than any vehicle in their lineup. The 2019 Subaru Ascent is an all-new three-row SUV. Ascent starting at $31,995 and comes in base, premium, limited and touring trim levels. When properly equipped, Ascent can tow up to 5,000 pounds. The 2019 Subaru Ascent Limited, $38,995 comes standard with roof rails, automatic headlights, 60-40th split folding second and third row seats, tri-zone automatic climate control, a height adjustable driver's seat, a rear view camera, four USB ports, two in front, two in the second row, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration, and a six-speaker audio system with satellite radio. Limited trims also come with heated side mirrors, a windshield wiper deasser, a power adjustable driver's seat, heated front seats, a leather wrapped steering wheel, rear seat climate controls, and an upgraded multimedia system with an 8 inch touch screen, voice controls, and a 4G LTE Wi Fi hotspot. This limited tester came with second row captain's chairs, 20 inch wheels, adaptive LED headlights, automatic high beams, LED fog lights, leather upholstery, a power adjustable front passenger seat, additional driver seat adjustments, heated outboard second row seats, rear door sunshades, dual third row USB ports, and additional leather cabin accents. 
Safety features include blind spot detection, with lane change assist and rear cross traffic alert. Also included is Subaru's EyeSight Driver Assist technology, which bundles forward collision warning with automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, and lane departure warning. An optional package, $2,950 for this limited trim included a panoramic power sunroof, navigation system, cargo cover and a 14-speaker Harman Kardon premium sound system. Total MSRP including destination, $42,920. The new Ascent Limited interior is roomy, comfortable with black with cream accents, and the attractive lines give it a contemporary upscale feel. The leather seats are supported for long drives and come with 10-way power adjustability and the tilt telescoping steering wheels allow you to find the perfect driving position for all sizes of family drivers. The 2019 Ascent Cabin represents a marked upgrade for Subaru interiors, both in design and quality of materials with the liberal use of soft-touch materials throughout. An 8-inch touchscreen display sits on the center dash offering voice controls with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Visibility outward is typical of a Subaru vehicle and offers a good view out the back and sides. Passenger room is abundant in the second row with the captain's chairs giving even more room to spread out and get comfortable. There are separate climate control and two USB ports to stay connected. Passengers can pull down the rear shades and stay cool in the summer heat. Families will have enough room to take their gear and can stay connected on long trips with extra USB ports in the second row. There are even 19 Cuban pesos holders for passengers to stay hydrated on weekend trips. The third row is perfect for kids, but adults will only want to ride back there for short jaunts. Mom will like the power lift gate and there's a hidden storage compartment for keeping things out of sight under the rear cargo area. Utility is a strong point for the new Ascent and by folding all three seats, the SUV offers up almost 87 cubic feet of cargo space, one of the largest capacities in the class. When properly equipped, Ascent can also tow up to 5,000 pounds. The new Ascent 3 row is powered by Subaru's all-new 2.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder boxer engine producing 260 horsepower and 277 pounds FT of torque. It comes mated with a lean Artronic continuously variable automatic transmission CVT. All-wheel drive comes standard on every Ascent model. Subaru designed the new 2019 Ascent with families in mind with a roomy comfortable cabin, offering plenty of utility, and all-wheel drive for all-weather performance. This SUV offers additional off-road features you won't find in other three-row vehicles. With standard EyeSight driver assist technology, it offers another level of safety for urban families on the go. Overall, the 2019 Subaru Ascent looks to be an ideal pick for a three-row SUV, especially for active families. An entertaining powertrain does not always result in an entertaining car. Case in point, the 2018 Nissan Sentra Senior Turbo. In spite of its quite good forced induction in line 4, this Sentra isn't quite a competitive sport compact. Position between the $21,385 Sentra SR and the $26,675 Sentra NISMO, the $23,085 Senior Turbo shares its styling with the SR but pulls its engine and standard 6-speed manual gearbox from the NISMO. A continuously variable automatic transmission CVT, is a $290 option. The Sentra Senior Turbo may look like a shape, but under its stubby hood rests the heart of a fiercer beast. Although Nissan began offering its turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder in the Sentra only last year, the 188-horsepower engine's roots go back to the 2011 Nissan Juke's Subcompact Crossover SUV.
This spotted Sage, this small displacement four feels capable of competing with similarly sized turbo engines from the likes of Honda and Volkswagen. It's a shame Nissan doesn't install this engine in more of its products. Compared with the Sentra's standard naturally aspirated 1.8-liter inline 4, which produces 130 horsepower when paired with the 6-speed manual in the base Sentra SN 124 ponies when coupled to the CVT that's standard on SV and SR models, the forced induction 4-banger might as well be a same bolt. This senior turbo scooted to 60 mph in a reasonable enough 7.0 seconds and crossed the quarter mile after 15.4 seconds at 94 mph. A Sentra with the 1.8-liter engine and the CVT needed 9.5 and 17.4 seconds at 81 mph to accomplish both tasks. While the senior turbo accelerates with relative haste, the Nissan lacks the polish of rivals such as the Honda Civic 1.5T and the Mazda 3 2.5L, whose available manual gearboxes are more rewarding to operate. Whereas the sticks in the Honda and Mazda move from gate to gate with solid heft, the Nissan's lever falls into gear with a hollow thud. The cog-swapping courtship between operator and machine is further muddled by a feather-like clutch with a high engagement point, and the engine has a tendency to hang on to revs with almost every release of the clutch. Despite its lack of tactile refinement, the transmission's short throws and well-spaced ratios make it easy to take advantage of the engine's healthy 177 pounds FT of torque available from 1600 to 5200 RPMs. A short final drive ratio provides additional accelerative assistance at speed, although it does result in noticeable engine drone during sustained highway cruising as the crankshaft spins at close to 3,000 rpms. Even so, the senior turbo allowed only an Audi A4 like 68 decibels of noise into the cabin at 70 mph. Along with its powertrain improvements, the senior turbo includes additional dynamic enhancements such as a revised power steering system, 10% stiffer front springs, revised front and rear dampers, and 0.6-inch larger front brake rotors. The suspension changes are a welcome addition that provide the senior turbo with a more refined ride than its naturally aspirated counterpart. Operate the senior turbo with any sense of vigor, though and the 30-20-pound sedan will protest like a small child forced to eat broccoli. Body roll is prominent, understeer is imminent, and the light steering rack is as informative as a White House press briefing. The most heinous crimes of the Sentra Senior Turbo occur inside the car. Like all Sentras, the Senior Turbo suffers an inability to cater to drivers of above average height. Headroom is at a premium. The front seat bottoms are too short for proper thigh support, the lateral bolstering is lacking, and the steering column's telescoping range is so limited. At least the dashboard controls are intuitive and ergonomically arranged, even if the center-mounted 5.0-inch touchscreen infotainment display and dual-zone automatic climate controls look a decade old. The back seat is impressively spacious and the 182.5-inch long sedan also includes a rather large 15-cubic-foot trunk. A 60-40 split-folding rear seat offers additional versatility, but the seat backs don't fall flat with the cargo area floor, which can make loading longer items a bit more difficult. However, the final nail in the 2018 Nissan Sentra Senior Turbo's coffin is its base price which is $490 greater than that of a similarly equipped Honda Civic XT sedan and $600 more than a comparable Mazda 3 2.5L Touring sedan. It's also $400 more than the 201 horsepower Hyundai Elantra Sport. While its powertrain may be likable enough on its own, the Sentra Senior Turbo as a whole can't compete when more engaging and more comfortable competitors can be had for less.